Sympathetic crashing acute pulmonary edema, SCAPE, is a medical emergency that occurs when patients with acute congestive heart failure complicated with pulmonary edema. Patients with SCAPE usually present to the emergency department with markedly hypertension, severe dyspnea, and desaturation. In this lecture, we will discuss the pathophysiology, clinical features, and management of SCAPE. SCAPE is the result of a sympathetic surge mediated by activation of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. The sympathetic surge results in high peripheral vascular resistance and increased sodium and water reabsorption, which worsen cardiac function and lead to pulmonary congestion, pulmonary edema, hypoxia, and further sympathetic surge. Patients with SCAPE usually present to the emergency department with extreme respiratory distress associated with diaphoresis, restlessness, and high blood pressure, usually systolic blood pressure greater than 180 millimeter mercury. Life-threatening acute pulmonary edema may not be caused by fluid accumulation but rather fluid redistribution because of heart failure and increased systemic vascular resistance from sympathetic neurohormonal activation. High doses of nitrates, combined with non-invasive positive pressure ventilation, such as BiPAP, are the mainstay of treatment of SCAPE and should be started within minutes of the patient's arrival to the emergency department. Diuretics are less helpful due to their later onset. High doses of nitroglycerin are well tolerated. Recent studies demonstrated that high doses of NTG are more likely to induce nitrate tolerance than low doses of NTG. When treated promptly, patients with SCAPE will recover rapidly. Typically, 0.6 mg of sublingual NTG is given up to 3 times, followed by 1 to 2 mg NTG intravenous boluses every 2 minutes as needed, up to 10 to 20 mg maximum. Non-rebreather mask and BiPAP can be used to provide supplemental oxygen and positive pressure ventilation to patients receiving high-dose NTG. This can help to improve oxygenation and ventilation, and buy time for the NTG to take effect. Contraindications to NTG use include severe aortic stenosis, recent use of phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, or hypotension at any time. Examples of phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors include sildenafil, tadalafil, and vardenafil. Pause the video and read through this slide which demonstrates another proposed protocol of high-dose NTG for treatment of SCAPE. Take note of the inclusion criteria, exclusion criteria, and specific doses of the NTG. In conclusion, SCAPE is a medical emergency that requires prompt recognition and management. Clinicians must know how to manage SCAPE with high-dose nitrates and non-invasive positive pressure ventilation. When treated promptly, one will not only save a life but also obviate the need for endotracheal intubation and ICU admission. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.